We now return to Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Lois, I need $28,000. For what? I've decided I want to open a sushi restaurant. I don't care about the sushi. I just want to yell at customers when they walk in the door. Hiroshimase! Stay! Here comes a black guy! Peter, you're not getting money for that or anything else. Geez, are we really living that close to the edge? You know we are, Brian. Why do you think we waited so long to take you to the groomers last month? Hey, isn't it time for me to get a haircut? Oh, no. I think you just got one. <coughs> what day is this? Like it or not, we're going to have to start living on a strict budget for a while. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker, and this is News... Okay. Our top story tonight, the Rhode Island State Lottery has climbed to a record $150 million jackpot. We sent Channel 5 News Asian correspondent Trisha Takanawa around town to get the public reaction. Mayor West, what do you plan to do if you win the lottery? Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits. And how about you, every Persian guy in the world? Quite BMW! <laughs> Yeah, we'll just win the lottery. In fact, I'm going to go buy my winning ticket right now. Peter, what's wrong? It's, uh, nothing. I'm just going to wait a minute. There's teenagers in skinny jeans out there. Everyone, I got big news. Oh, my God, Peter, there are thousands of lottery tickets here. Simple. I took out a second mortgage on a house. What? Peter, this is idiotic. Your odds of winning are like 100 million to one. Peter, Brian's right. How can you be so irresponsible? You take these tickets back right now. No way, Lois. We're going to win. Hey, this is it, you guys. They're going to announce the winning lottery numbers. Time for the Griffin family to meet its destiny. E! That's a three, honey. Turn it around. This! 31. 17! No, that's... Oh, yes, that is 17. All right, kids, we got 200,000 lottery tickets we got to check. All right, how do you want to do this? A static where night turns into day or a montage song that over-explains what we're doing? Um, that second one sounds like it could be funny. Checking lottery tickets, looking at the numbers and seeing if they match the ones on the news. If they don't, then we put them in the designated pile. This is taking forever. That's why Brian is yawning and Stewie's rubbing his eyes. The montage is almost over. Well, that's it. Three days wasted looking through 200,000 lottery tickets. Those weren't the lottery tickets. These are the lottery tickets. Is this another test? Yes. Oh, my God. We won. What? Let me see that. Yes, we won the lottery! I'm getting a penis butler. This is awesome. You sure it was such a good idea to cash that lottery check? It seems foolish to have all this money lying around. Rather have it down at the bank where the Jewish guys can leer at it? Yeah! Right. yeah money! <laughs> Woo! All right, so how are we going to spend our winnings? I'm going to get some supermarket fried chicken and eat it until I'm nauseous. I'm going to finally get my gal that doodad she's been wanting. I'm going to get a floor mirror to squat over and see what's making all that noise. I just bought a giant room full of gold coins, and I'm going to dive into it like Scrooge McDuck. Ah! It's not a liquid! Ah! Hey, Horace, another round for everybody. Yeah! Well, my friend Marty is a whiz with chemistry, and he says he's come up with a new penis enlargement pill, and if we can bankroll him $100,000 in startup money, he'll triple our investment in a year. You know, Peter, uh, Bonnie's birthday is coming up, and I'll be gall darned if I didn't go ahead and promise her that Stevie Nicks would come to our house and sing three songs to her. Uh, so what do you say, Peter? Can you help us out? Of course I can, you dope. We're pals, right? There you go. Hey, Horace, give us three shots of your best bourbon. And have that Russian waiter I like bring it over. La, 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 la. 
Thanks again, Peter. I gotta head out. I told my mother I'd visit her in the hospital. Yeah, and I gotta work. I'm flying a leg to Minneapolis tonight. What? No, I mean, I'm just saying. I, I thought friends hang out, do things with each other. You know, especially when one friend gives the other friends a whole bunch of money. Oh, well, I guess I could stick around. From now on, we're all gonna do whatever I wanna do. Because I'm the one with the dough. Okay, I guess that's fair. Ow! Now smear what's left of it on your face and look at me with your mouth open. Self, you filthy whore. Ugh. I don't even want this now. <laughs> Now you're gonna do a synchronized duet of making whoopee while I shoot you with this BB gun. Hi, are you, Peter? Oh, no, Joe. I wouldn't try to shoot you in the eye. Uh, oh, huh. Peter, it was really close to my eye. Relax, Joe. I'm nowhere near your eye. Hey, Joe, open your eye. Uh, uh, no, no, screw this. You're a jerk. Jerk? What kind of a way is that to talk to your friend who gives you money? Go to hell, Peter. We don't need your money, and we don't need friends like you. Yeah, we're out of here. Fine, go on. I don't care. I don't need you. I got money. You know, Peter, you used to be a great guy, but ever since you won that lottery... <laughs> ah! 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 Come on, Joe! <laughs> this guy! Ah! Now, my God, what the hell are you wearing? I don't like what this money is doing to us. It's even affecting Brian and Stewie. <sighs> I think I'm gonna take a nap. Yeah, I had a giant mobile put in the sky so I can sleep wherever I want. Oh, <sighs> this is nice. I hope that bear comes around soon. That's sort of my favorite. Oh, look, the bear! Lois, don't you understand? We don't got any of our old problems anymore. We don't have to worry about paying bills. All we gotta do is enjoy ourselves. Interested? Peter, it's beautiful. Is it a blood diamond? Oh, the bloodiest. The two kids who found it were forced to murder each other. Oh, Peter, I love it. Uh, I never thought I'd be having high tea at the Park Barrington every single day. About your bill. Oh, don't worry, Carstairs. Well, actually, sir, your card has been declined. Oh, really? Well, I'm sure a brief call to my accountant will resolve this to our mutual satisfaction. Hello, Schnozenstein. This is Peter Griffin. There seems to be some issue with our credit. I told Carstairs you'd set everything straight. What do you mean I'm broke? What about all that money I sent to the Game and Islands? They did what with it? No, I don't want it back! I can't believe it. We lost everything. What do we do now? Well, seems like our only hope is the lottery. Holy <laughs> we won twice and we're right back here again. Well, well, look who it is. What happened to you anyway? You look terrible. Look, you guys, I messed up bad. I thought being rich would solve all my problems, but... All it did was make me forget what was important, like who my real friends are. I don't expect you to forgive me, but if for some reason you do, you can find me in a cardboard box on the corner of Meeting and Fair. Peter, wait. That corner's a bit of a hike for me. I'd rather just come see you at home. What? Where'd you get this kind of money? The penis enlargement pill you gave me the startup money for. It turned a pretty nice profit. I don't know what to say. Thank you. You're welcome. Boy, I gotta say, it's good to be home. Yeah, despite all the ups and downs, things turned out for the best. Look, Lois, we all know what happened. We're all depressed. All right, now let's just go to different rooms and stare blankly out the window saying nothing. Today, it's me, Allison. Everyone all together, filled with happiness, charged with glee.
You know we love to, love to sing together